I'm deeply disappointed by today's verdict. Not so much for myself, but that we need to hold the police department accountable for their tactics. The Portland police have many faces. If you're well-to-do, you see them as protectors. If you're poor, houseless, in a mental health crisis, or a person of color, they're a constant threat. If you challenge authority by action in the street, even with nonviolent protests, they respond with masked and armed violence. A dazzling array of less than lethal weaponry designed to engender pain and cause, uh, engender fear and cause pain. I was with hundreds of Oregonians in August protesting the Proud Boys and white supremacy. The police used tear gas and per per percussion grenade grenades against us from many directions. Havoc ensued. The police have not learned their lesson. Mm. All the marchers were dealt with as criminals for the purported actions of, the, of a few. I was at the front lines and saw no projectiles, no smoke bombs, nothing coming from the protesters. We're living in a time of attacks on freedom from all sides. Are we? Those who protest these attacks, terrorists, who should be violently crushed by faceless giants in riot gear? Portland Police Bureau has a history of treating peaceful protest as terrorism. We must continue to challenge their attempts to squash our First Amendment right to free speech. I'm incredibly grateful to the ACLU and the Tonka Court for their work to unmask these tactics for what they are. 